Battlefield 5 is a game that got a fair amount of controversy back when its first trailer debuted earlier this year. From that first trailer, many people swore off the game, saying that it catered too hard to SJWs. Without getting too political, let me just say that if you want to play as a woman in a World War II game, then that is fine by me. I enjoy historical accuracy in my games, but this argument is for another day at another time. But with all politics aside, the open beta for Battlefield 5 is out now, and I have to say, I am enjoying this game much more than I had anticipated. I originally did not even pre-order, as I have never been a really big Battlefield fan. I played Battlefield 3 through Hardline a decent amount, but never considered myself an avid Battlefield player. And I myself was not a huge fan of Battlefield 1. But this game may change my mind on this whole series. This installment from the small amount of content that we have in the beta is truly amazing. We have a good selection of weapons, from semi-auto rifles to fully automatic SMGs, LMGs, snipers, which was one of my biggest gripes with Battlefield 1's, it just seemed like a lot of semi-auto rifles. The changes to health and healing are welcome changes to the series in my mind. You can only regenerate a select number of health when you take damage but medics can throw out some health kits to help you heal up and even give you a pouch so you can self-heal later on. So when in the heat of the battle, you don't need to run around trying to find a medic or camp to regain your health. You can carry up to one of these health patches with any class besides the medic, which gets an unlimited amount for self-healing. But if there's a shortage of medics, then there are always going to be large supply caches around the map that let you heal up and take one of these pouches. The same will go for ammunition. You get less in this game than other installments, but any player can throw out ammo pouches to you to replenish any lost ammo that you've had during the fight. And killing players and running over their bodies usually results in you also picking up some ammo. While you do not spawn with a ton of ammo, it's usually plentiful around the map and I'm able to resupply pretty often. Each of your classes play a certain role in the game, just like all other previous installments of Battlefield. Assault specializes in being ground infantry that can use explosives to take out enemy vehicles. Medic to heal and revive teammates quicker, because anybody can revive now. Support to resupply yourself and teammates quicker with ammo. And recon to spot and snipe enemies from a distance. Each class has some unique weapons to use, but all of them seem like viable options in the fight. I myself lean more towards being a medic or a support character, but many people seem to run assault or even recon. The gameplay is fast, fluid, and fun. The only issues I have seen are some minor clipping errors when vaulting over objects, a weird visual distortion on the screen when downed, and whatever is happening right here. Nothing game-breaking, just some minor nitpicks, really. But, back to the gameplay itself. Battlefield is known for its large-scale maps and battles, and this is no exception. The game is beautiful, and just like other installments into the series, the game looks really good, and I have very little problems with its art style and how it looks. The changes to how weapons work mean it's a little bit easier to control and learn your weapons. The more you use your weapons, the more that you can upgrade them. You get points for completing actions in-game and also completing assignments, which can be used to purchase cosmetic items for your character, camos for weapons, new knives, and weapon upgrades. None of which I see to be overpowered, they just give you a little bit of an extra advantage. Like faster ADS time, better recoil control, and on some weapons, a bayonet. At first, building cover and calling in supplies took me a minute to get used to, but after playing for a while, I see that these are some pretty welcome additions to the game. Being able to throw out sandbags or build cover in specific areas of the map let you have more vantage points on enemies. Barbed wire can slow down enemies while hurting them as well, but can also take damage to you. But these can be easily destroyed with grenades, just like all other cover in the game. Since the open beta has come out, I have pre-ordered my copy of the game, and I can't wait for the full release. The beta is available for free to everyone, so I suggest you try out the game for yourself before the beta is over, and get your own opinions onto the game. 
thank you a lot for watching this video, and as always, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons. Super fans like Luke Koetsi help me to keep making content for you all. All my social links will be in the description down below. As always, thank you for watching, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!